Oh, glass oh, lizard, what? Oh my god. Holy <laughs> Careful, careful. What even? What? Oh my god. Dude, what? What just happened? Good morning, everybody. Today is the day I've been waiting for for a long time. Part of the reason is we're here with this guy. What's up? But yeah, it's that it's that wonderful day of the year where we get out with a lot of our local friends here in North Georgia and try to find a Scarlet King snake. So that's what we're gonna do today. Oh man, first snake of the day. Yeah. A double tantilla flip. Hell yeah. Alright, well the snakes are flowing early. Let's just hope we get something that's not a tiny fossorial today. All right, Alec just flipped a baby racer. Look at that. That is adorable. How pretty is this? I mean, he's about as pretty as a baby racer comes in its first year of life, I think. Very adorable. I'm guessing these are going to be our most common snake today. Look at that. There's got to be some... Oh, a tantilla! There's got to be some Moa Tantilla. Thomas has struck Tantilla. Whoa. Yeah. Tantilla. King snake. Woo! I wouldn't get too excited about this one, boys. <laughs> <laughs> you know... <laughs> He's a little bit of a dog. Not the same one? No, he's uh he's just got some crust. Not uh <laughs> not not what you really want to see, but a king snake nonetheless, I suppose. That is a bean snake. We'll take it. Alright, well here's our first notable snake of the day. It's a little bit crusty, as can be expected this time of year. But uh I'm I'm not really sure what this guy has going on, but He's not looking his best. All right, Hunter has popped a new species for the day. A little smooth earth, very nice. Oh, I just found two tantilla and a worm snake. You got a tantilla. Tantilla. Hunter, got one, got one. no, no, no. Got one. Got one. Oh, with a ruber too. God. Oh my god. <laughs> it's yes. confirmed we're not getting one. <laughs> Alec Gordon flip with a red salamander. <laughs> well, there it is. That is what we come out here for. Two years in a row now, we have landed the SK on the day of Sorry. the SK. So <laughs> you can't say stuff twice in the same video, Hunter. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this one is, it's kind of starting to go into shed. It's not the prettiest Scarlet King in its current state, but I think freshly shed, that would be pretty close to like a nine out of 10. That is gorgeous. And if we can look at his belly here, very, very cool looking. But great way to highlight the day if we don't get another one, but I think we're gonna go for two at this point. Get some photos and let him go. Hunter, can you finish up so we can go find another one? Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, come on, dude, we gotta take a Wait, no, I'm not. <laughs> So many little fossorial snakes today. This has got to be the fifth or sixth worm. Lots of ring necks, a couple tantilla, and an earth snake so far. A ruber. Lots of these today. An earth snake. Number two for the day. A gray rat. A gray rat? Yeah. Oh yeah. Very nice. Look at this little guy, pancake behind bark. Very pretty. I'm gonna pull him out and try to put his bark back. The sendal. Goodbye, Hunter. <laughs> Hunter is leaving at noon. Y'all know what Goodbye, that means. Viewers. Let's go get it. A king snake. Beautiful king snake. Really? Yeah. Yep. Dude. Very nice. Of course I do not have my camera. <laughs> There we go. Damn. All right, well, third Lampropeltis of the day is a good one for sure. First one that's not in some state of being in shed. Very, very pretty Eastern Black King Intergrade. Leans a little bit Eastern, this one. All right. 
Thomas has a racer. Another little guy, second one of the day. All right, well, it has been a solid day out here. There's a, a lot more sun than there was this morning, and uh, we're walking around a controlled burn currently. But yeah, it's kind of like the heat of the day now. We've got a couple more hours of good light. We might do one more spot shift before the end of the day. We'll see. Double worm snake. Look at that upside down dude. There we go. Two more of these. Look at this beauty. Huge beefy worm snake. So many of these fossorial snakes today. I haven't even been recording flip clips because there's just been so many of them. Gorgeous though. Look at that. You want to come out here? Ah! Flying squirrel! <laughs> What's up, dude? Racer. Oh, racer. Nice. Well, there's been a lot of racer action today. Another little baby guy hanging out under a board. Oh, a red-bellied snake. That's a new one for today. Very Thanks. tiny. We just need like a brown snake now and we've gotten every fossorial species in North Georgia. I really think that's the only one we're missing. It's brown snake. Or in rough earth. Can't forget about the rough earth. Oh, glass lizard, oh, what? Oh my God. Holy <laughs> Careful, careful. What even? What? Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, what? What just happened? Immediately. <laughs> yeah, that is crazy. Ken just rock flipped a slender glass lizard. Holy cow. Well, that is easily the coolest thing we've seen today, which is pretty crazy because we found a North Georgia Scarlet King, multiple Eastern Kings, and now that. That is just absurd. Under a rock. This is possibly, this is likely the first time an eastern slender glass lizard has ever been found under a rock in North Georgia. That is nuts. All right, Ken and I are the last men standing today. He's getting some pictures, and then I will get a little bit more video of this thing. But holy cow, what a day, and what a way to end the day. And we still got a lot of good habitat at the spot. Look at this guy. He's posing so well, as they usually do. Seriously, one of the coolest animals we have here in North Georgia, and we did not see a single one last year. So, that being said, I'm always hoping for more. That is amazing. I really, I could sit here and look at this thing all day, but we've got more rocks to flip before it gets dark. First glass lizard of the year in a new county for me here in North Georgia. Hopefully the flip clip came out pretty good. Um, I was right next to him, so. That is crazy though. What an incredible animal. So gorgeous. All right, dude. You gonna get a release video? Sure, sure. I'm not sure what he's gonna do. I think this side is where the burrow was. Go on, dude. Back to your rock. Oh, just gonna flop in the grass. He will, uh, there he goes. It, they just disappear so quickly. Look at that, it's just gone. All right, looking like the snakes are a little scarce at this spot since we found the glass lizard at least. Two more worm snakes. We gotta be 25 worm snakes for today already. That's ridiculous. I definitely haven't shown even a quarter of them. Good morning, everybody from North Georgia, where the, uh, the mountain chorus frogs are calling. We might be able to get a look at one of these guys, but if not, we can at least hear them calling right now. And then we're going to explore these uh, montane hills in search of snakes. All right, well, we failed at finding a uh, chorus frog, but there's our first box turtle in North Georgia for the year, digging around right there. And right next to it, I flipped a ring neck. So uh, snakes are definitely out today, as are the other critters. So this guy just recently survived a pretty crispy control burn and uh, seems to be doing all right. But decent start, ring neck and a box turtle right next to each other. Scarlet King! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! 
Oh man. Ah, oh, that's so amazing. Well, that is how you know that spring has truly arrived in North Georgia. We have uh, moved on from ringnecks and brown snakes to the colorful tiny snakes. The little Scarlet King. This is a very tiny Scarlet King, last year's baby probably. Um, but for me, this is one of the holy grail species in North Georgia, even though we've gotten really good at finding them and we can actually kind of predict when they're gonna be out and find them with some regularity now. It never gets old seeing that underneath a rock. Well, the wind is gonna make video a little bit of a pain today, but two ringnecks, one of which I didn't show, a box turtle, and this guy so far. Hopefully we can turn up multiple of these today. I'm never expecting to see multiple since it is quite a feat to just find one, but uh, I do feel like the weather today is pretty ideal, so. We'll let this beautiful guy go back under his rock and keep flipping. All right, this guy's rock doesn't even really look particularly good. It's kind of shady, but we'll just put him on top and let him let him crawl off on his own. There he goes. It's this time of year in the south. Pollen is all over everything. And I've been sneezing a lot. Oh, an erythrogaster. I was hoping this would get an erodia, but I wasn't expecting it to happen that fast. Oh, there he goes. Gonna have to get a screen grab voucher of that one. You can see there's still green grass under this. Although I feel like it's been here a couple months now, I feel like that stuff should be dead. I don't know. Oh, king snake. Yes. Oh, come here. <laughs> yes, first yard king of the year. And this does not look like a familiar snake. Just covered in pollen. Not even in shed, just pollen. The pollen king. That's what I shall call you. Very nice. First uh, king snake this sheet has produced. Looks like a young female. Isn't that a sight? Took a while for it to start really feeling like spring here at home, but I think we've finally reached that point now. Let me get some quick photos of this and then we'll let him go, or her. All right, I got some pics. Let's put this beautiful girl back under her ten. Whoa, ringneck party. Very nice. All right, we've got a little triple ringneck rock flip here at home. It's always nice to see one or two of these, but getting three at once here is pretty, pretty uncommon. Oh, what? Number two? Another new one? Look at that thing. Look at the speckles. Holy cow. And this is an experimental flip type that I, I've never set up before. It's a board wrapped in tin. Look at that snake. Oh my goodness. It's possible we've seen this one in shed. But holy cow, that's gorgeous. <laughs> it's funny, I can tell who this snake's mom is just by looking at it. That super nice speckly one we find here at home. Um, we've been seeing her for a long, long time now. And her genetic footprint is very obvious on some of these snakes. I'll put a, uh, a little bit of an overlay to a picture of her spot like that. <laughs> Two kings. Let's see if we can get another one. We had a we had a day last spring where we got three. Let's see if we can do it again. It's cool to see this experimental flip type working for king snakes. Um, I was really hoping to get a mole king under it, but I guess that's a start. 
I will uh, let this guy go. I think this one is a boy, so the first one was a girl. If I have seen either of these snakes, they've grown a lot or they've been deep in shed. I'll have to double check that, but pretty sure these are both new. There you go. He knows exactly where he's at. That's so cool. So yeah, this is just a, uh, a piece of uh, particle board, so a board that normally wouldn't last very long, and I've wrapped it in this kind of thin layer of tin. This is uh, like pool siding. The idea is it'll preserve the life of the board while staying a little bit drier underneath than a board normally would. Because in Georgia, if you don't put boards in direct sun, they tend to get kind of soggy on the underside and can be pretty useless. Dang, nobody under here. I was hoping if that experimental board popped something today, this would. This is just a normal board. You can see, this is what I'm talking about. It gets like moldy and wet underneath. Even uh, sitting here in the direct sun, only the patches that are kind of elevated are really dry. Ooh, double red-bellied snake under the brand new tin and a worm snake down there too. Wow. All right, we got two red-bellied snakes and a worm snake under this brand new tin on the first flip. Not bad. Well, that's the best fossorial flip I've had in a while. We'll just let these guys go. Oh, a mole. Come here, brother. Ah. <laughs> oh, and a slimy, couple slimies. Let him go back underground. Very cool. Oh, there he goes again. All right, guys, just flipped the last set. We did not get our hat trick today, but we did get two brand new king snakes, to my knowledge. I'll have to double check that, along with a decent amount of other fossorial stuff, so I'll take it. Probably going to put this at the beginning or the end of the next episode, though. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.